So, just finished the latest Success Freak show with Charles. We were we just got off the, the air. And this one was episode number 185. Laser, How do you laser focus your goals? And talked about doing that. Charles and I actually had differing opinions on certain things. So, if you listen to this show, and I'm sure that you will, you're going to get to hear that. But I just want to let you know, I've got my new setup. i got a brand new microphone right here. It's like there's, there's nothing else in the way. There's no big pop filter. i got the windscreen here, so that's great. But here's the thing that I wanted to share with you. I am I am in my pajamas. Woohoo! My Batman pajamas that, uh, <laughs> that were gifted... To me, I got my, it's kind of cold here in Arizona, so I got my my cool little head beanie thing on, whatever you want to call those. So yeah, uh, how do you laser focus your goals? The first thing that, that most important is, in my opinion, my opinion, is that you need to have a specific goal that you're going for. A lot of people like, or I just want to be successful, I want to make a lot of money. And that's not really anything that, that you, you got to bring that down. You want to have a a smart goal and if I can pull that up real fast there it is smart which is a s specific measurable of course I don't have my glasses on now so I can't read anything and you get to see that hang on a second that's right specific measurable attainable realistic and timely specific you want to have a specific goal that you're moving towards something that you can say oh, well you know I want to be successful what does that mean for you what does that really say? Well, I want to be successful in podcasting. What does that mean? I want to have at least 10 shows of a specific podcast that I have up. It's measurable. It's attainable. It's realistic, timely, by a certain date. So you put all those things together, it's going to really help. But the, the main focus of how do you focus, uh, how do you laser focus your goals is that you want to have like, you want to pick your, your main goal or at least your main three goals Everything else in your life that doesn't fit in those areas, you want to you want to think about maybe getting rid of, you know. And I'm not talking about oh my family doesn't really fit in here. You got to remember they're part of your life goals as well. Your family is definitely one of your goals, so that's not something you want to to get rid of. But if you if you have a goal for being a writer, well, sitting down and watching TV eight hours a day that doesn't really fit in there. Or maybe going out on an outing where everybody else is having a great time. Uh, and you have a deadline due, maybe that doesn't fit in there. Or maybe if you are writing a story uh, about family life or about a person's family, you want to go on that outing. Whatever it is, if you're like, if somebody says, hey, can you do this thing? Or, hey, look, I have an opportunity to to join this this group. Does that group fit your main goals? Or are you just providing distraction for you to keep you from moving forward with that? So there it is. Give a listen to Success Freaks number 185. Uh, I'm sure it will be out by now. If not, you know, you can find it at successfreaks.com or blogtalkradio.com slash successfreaks. Find us in, in those two places for sure. And once again, this is our Mordant Mon. I've had a, a great time doing the show. I just wanted to share that a little bit with you in my pajamas. Welcome to my Mordant World.